by popular subscriber request, today, well, I'm bringing to you my taco pasta recipe. Okay, well, it's not mine, but it's one that I do. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What is this? taco pasta. This was a menu card that I had added to my weekly meal planner or dinner planner DIY that I just brought to you a couple weeks ago. And by popular request, so many of you subscribers were saying to me, Kelly, taco pasta, what is that? Sounds amazing. Share the recipe with me. And guess what? That's what I'm doing today. Taco pasta, hands down, in this household is a family favorite. It is not my recipe. This is a recipe that my best friend Linda was making one day. And I'm one of those people that likes to ask my friends, so what are you having for dinner tonight? What are you making for dinner tonight? Because I, like a lot of you, want new recipes. I want to step out of those everyday dinners and meals that I tend to be. I want to step out and maybe bring some newer meals instead of those repetitious meals that seem to be showing up week after week. This is a recipe that takes you maybe 10 minutes to make and the outcome of it is so delicious. Oh my word, it is one I think you're going to love if you like taco and you like pasta and you want it all mixed together. Oh my goodness, it's heavenly. Guess what? I'm going to quit my gamut. Let's chip into it and let me show you how easy it is to make taco pasta. You're gonna need two pounds of ground beef, ground turkey, you choose. For this dish, I like to brown my meat in a pot because we are adding pasta to it and so it's going to be kind of a fuller dish and so I feel like a pan is not the way to go. So I'm just going to do it all in one to save on cleaning. One 2.5 ounce packet of taco seasoning. Again. I'm using store brand because there really isn't a difference to me. meat is looking just about done and yes there is a bit of oil in this and that is because I am using a lower grade ground beef I want to say that this is 7327 so if you are using a lower grade ground beef you do want to drain the fat out I feel like fat adds a bit more flavor to it and that is why I go the route of using the 7327. The fat is drained and I gotta tell you I love the taste of ground beef with taco seasoning. Mm, 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 mm. So yummy. To this we're gonna add a 16 ounce jar of salsa. Mild, medium, hot, any brand you like, you choose. I like paste bacani and I like the chunky salsa because I feel like it just adds to the dish. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the salsa to the meat. To this meat, we're gonna add four cups of water. And there is plenty of goodness left in this jar, so I'm gonna take my four cups of water that are going in this meat anyway. And 
I am going to get every last drop of that salsa out of this jar. I am. There we go. All four cups of water are now in the ground beef and the salsa. Give this a quick mix. And to this, we are going to add one pound of pasta. And I'm using the rotini pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flame down to a low. And to help those noodles cook a bit better and to keep the water from Evaporating, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on there. And yes, we're gonna let this go for about 20 minutes. And I am going to stir off and on while this is cooking. Our noodles are plumping up. The water is just kind of reducing down on its own. And so we want to let this get just a bit thicker. It is just about done. This really is one of those meals that takes under 30 minutes prepared and cooking. Alrighty, I'm going to call this done. I am happy with where it's at, so it is time to eat. Oh, yum. Yes, please. One of my favorite blends of cheeses to use for any taco or taco pasta night, the Fiesta blend. I feel like cilantro adds so much to this dish, and I am such a cilantro fan. And so to this, I'm gonna sprinkle just a bit of cheese. I'm gonna top this off with a little bit of cilantro. We're gonna give it a dollop of daisy. Ha <laughs> ha! And this is absolutely ready to eat. Look at that. The cheese gets nice and stringy. This is such a yummy meal. If you wanted to add some tortilla strips to it, you totally could do that too to add that crunch factor. Yum, yum, yum. And let me just tell you, this tastes even better the next day. So I like to make a full pot so we have leftovers for a couple of days. video to 5,000 likes because like I always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below well they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day happy everything on a budget 
happy cooking in your kitchen. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now, everybody.